everyone, this is my tutorial on my Jessica Rabbit corset. I'm making a two layer corset and I have a floating fashion layer, meaning that that layer is only attached at the back, the top and the bottom. I started by taking some measurements so I could check if my pattern was right after I cut it out. So I took my underbiss, my waist, my upper hip, and the length, and then I wrapped myself in saran wrap and covered it in tape. It's a lot easier to have someone help you with it, but I was impatient. If you want to wear a push-up bra or a maximizer, I can really recommend wearing it while making your pattern. The most important line to mark is your waist. I used a marker, but it might be easier to use a thin piece of tape to make sure it's straight. I'm only drawing the neckline and the middle front because it's really hard to draw on yourself, but if you have someone helping you, you can draw out all your pattern pieces now. Next, cut yourself out in the middle front. You can use an existing pattern as a guide for where you want your pattern pieces to end. Once I cut these out, I trace them onto newspaper to get a clean pattern. Mine has six pattern pieces per side. I take six centimeters off the back panel to leave a little space in the back for the lacing. I had a maximizer on, but after tightening my finished corset, there was not enough room for my own boobs, let alone the maximizer, so make sure you leave a little extra room on the top. After cutting all my pieces and marking which one is which, I measure the width of the waist and I calculate how much reduction I want. For me that was about 15 centimeters, and that means that I have to take half of the so seven and a half of this half of my pattern. I will add the tutorial I use for this in the description box below. Once you have your pattern, I make a mock-up. So I put these patterns on a piece of cheap fabric. I trace all the lines and cut all my pattern pieces out with about two centimeter seam allowance. Next, I'm very carefully pinning all these pattern pieces together, making sure that the waistline matches up on all the pieces. And then sewing exactly on my marked line. Next, I open up some of my seam allowances, pin them down and sew a boning channel. I also put some scrap fabric in the middle to make a boning channel. I forgot to put in waist tape in my mock-up, but if you use one in your final, it's a lot smarter to put one in your mock-up as well. And also make sure that your fabric has the same amount of stretch as your final fabric. Next I laced it up and tried it on. I just poked some holes in the fabric to put my laces through. Next I marked where I wanted the bottom to end and where I wanted to make any changes. So I just marked a new seam onto my pattern and cut these out. Then it's time for my final corset. I am using a strong canvas fabric because twill is really expensive and so far it has worked for me. So I do the same as I do for my mock-up. I trace every pattern piece onto the fabric, then very carefully pinning the layers together. Then I sew each seam, but this time I lock stitch them, meaning that I go over the same seam again with a different stitch length. Next I clip my curves. So the seams that won't lay flat by themselves, I give some little snips making sure not to go through my stitches to help them lay flat. And the next step is ironing. I use a rolled up towel and the edge of my ironing board to make sure to get all my seams flat on the curves. Next I pin down each and every seam so I can turn them into boning channels. You can also put in boning tape but this for me is the easiest way. And I also pin in my waist tape. 
Be very careful with all these needles. It's probably smarter to do one channel at a time. So first, I top stitch right next to the seam, about a millimeter away from it. After that, I make the boning channel by using a walking foot because it has this metal extension thingy. When I put this metal piece right next to the foot, it has the exact seam allowance that I wanted for my boning channel to sit snugly. Next, I do all of this again with my fashion fabric. I just skip the waist tape and the sewing of the boning channels. Then I put it right sides together with my strength layer and sew the back closed. Next you can fold it right side out and you have a pretty neat looking seam. And top stitch. And then I put in another boning channel. <laughs> I put in grommets but that took me forever so I didn't videotape it. I put in my boning. I chose zip ties for boning that is going to be straight so the two in the back on both sides the two in the middle and one that goes right next to my breast and then I have spiral seal boning for all the other channels that need a little bit more flexibility I will put a tutorial from Lucy's Corsetry in the description next I made some bias tape by taking a piece of fabric, holding it diagonally, and then marking about 5 centimeters, I think it was, and cut strips. So they will go across from your fabric, meaning it will be on bias and have a little stretch in them. Next, I iron my strips in half, then fold it open, and fold both sides to the middle, go to that seam you just ironed in. Once you've ironed this, I just fold it in half, but slightly off-center. So my back will be about a millimeter or two longer than my front, which makes it easier to sew it on later. So the bias tape pretty much has three folds in there. Uh, one on about one-third, one on half, and one on two-third. So I sew in the fold on one third of the shorter side that I want for the front. And once this is all sewed, I fold it over to the back side. And then that two third fold is gonna fold to the back side. And now when I stitch in the ditch, so exactly between my seam, it will catch the bias tape in the back and have a very pretty finish. And that's it. It's a corset. It's not perfect. Like I said, uh, I needed a bit more space in the tops. So now I get this muffin top um, in my back. And I also think I need more boning in the front to get to get rid of the little tummy. But overall, I'm very happy with it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I will have pictures of my finished costume on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channel.